Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. What is the biggest waste of space in your shop? So if you look at my saw stop, pound sign, not sponsored, is this tube and a saw stop. Now I made a previous video, I'll link down below or on the side, the top or this side, but probably down below um, about that video. So I made a new cover for it and it has a finger hole here. Now look at that black. You can't even tell it's not OEM. You can't even tell it's something custom in here. But you put your finger in there and you pull out and look what you got. You have your wrenches. Now normally your wrenches are stored down here on a hook and that's really good. But I don't want to have to bend over all the time. And in the future I'd like to make some kind of accessory here that holds maybe my miter gauge and other accessories that I haven't made yet. But I thought... This tube is a wasted space. Let's use it. So yeah, this is 3D printed. It's black, PLA. Has a big chamfer in here. So the hardware here is a quarter 20 flathead stainless steel bolt. Got a big washer here, a lock washer and a nut. I use stainless steel because, well, it won't rust. It looks pretty nice in here and I had it. Put your wrenches on there. Slide it in there and you can't even tell it. But wait, I'm not done yet. This tube is about five feet long. Let's reposition the camera and look at the other side. So here on the opposite end, same thing. Stick your finger in there and you pull it out. And I got some pretty big scales in there. I got a 24 inch centering scale. If you don't have one, these are really nice. That hole is the center of the scale. It's great for layout. And I got a 24 inch scale. Now these scales, you know, they're kind of hard to store. You want them handy, easy accessible. You don't want them to get bent. And you stick it right in there. And you're always ready at your axis, right? Right there. Wrenches, anything flat, scales. Really nice storage. So these two trays are exactly the same tray. I'll put a link down below. The Thingiverse, you can print your own off. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, I don't have a 3D printer, but I bet you know somebody who does. If you know anybody attending a grade school or high school, a lot of them nowadays have 3D printers. And it seems like kids are always looking for ideas to print and impress their teachers. Why not have something useful like this? So this is MKE Gadgets. Thanks for viewing today's video. Please comment and share. Hit the little like button down below and support my channel by subscribing. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.